Hi guys, welcome to our channel where we do tech reviews, unboxings, assemblies and more. I'm Chester, your host for today. So today we'll be doing another comparison video between this time two AMD coolers. Round one, fight! Stop coolers if I may mention. This is the AMD Rave Stealth that is bundled with the lower end series, so for example the R3 and some of the R5 uh, CPUs. This is the Rave Prism, so this comes with default with the higher end cooler, so for example the more of the higher end R5s and the R7s and the R9s if I'm not wrong. So let's take a okay, so before we even talk about dimension and everything, just look at the massive difference. And just, just think about it for a second. This is actually provided free of charge from AMD. Just, just let it sink. This is a 4 heat pipe cooler. I mean, yes, it is a compact form factor, but this is 4 heat pipes. And a dense stack of fins that is comes free of charge by AMD. I mean, such a value, right? Okay, let's take a look at the dimensions. So for the Rave Stealth, it measures about 10 cm and for the Rave uh, Prism, it is about 10.6 cm so not much difference in terms of length and breadth but in terms of height, that's where things start to get different so in terms of height, this one it is about 5.7 cm tall okay, for the Rave, uh, for the Rave Prism, this one is about 9.4 cm tall so 5 plus versus 9 plus cm so make sure when you buy a case when you buy a chassis to install this on make sure that the chassis supports this height because uh, for example the cooler master h100 chassis no that does not support this so make sure you check it first all right let's check out the cooler section okay so we have so over here on the on my right the rave uh, stealth there is is a simple aluminum block uh, with a top fan that is blowing air down so nothing more nothing too fancy uh, just simple uh, aluminium all right so for the Rave Prism this looks like it's a copper stack to me yeah so this is a thin stack of copper and there are four heat pipes leading into it so this is a legit uh, cooling product that is not for just it's not just it, it doesn't look like just any other OEM cooler this is actually a legit cooler that you can actually overclock mounting on it okay so in terms of mounting uh for the rave uh, let's stop this first so for the rave stealth it had it utilizes a simple uh, set of screws across it so just make sure you screw them down diagonally and you are done so for the rave uh prism it's a little bit different so they uses this lever and two clips so here and here so make sure when you're clipping it, clip one down first and then you clip the other one down that you, that has the lever and you lock the lever in place. So it's, this is a little bit more troublesome but I will understand that given the heavier mass because it needs to, the motherboard needs to support this cooler more. Alright, so in terms of lighting, uh, no, this does not come with any RGB lighting, sadly. So the Rave Prism has RGB, so it has addressable RGB. So it it comes with it comes by default. It bundles two more cables. So one cable is towards a RGB header on your motherboard. Another cable is to a USB. Uh, so if let's say your motherboard does not support, um your motherboard does not have the RGB uh, plug so you can use the other one to create a simple lighting effect. Alright, both coolers come with a standard 4-pin PWM uh, fan header so no issues there. Alright, if not, that will be the comparison for our video today. So that's it for today. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet. I'm Chester and see you guys. It's